News coming in, the Air Force evacuation flight from Kabul to Qatar came near the record for most people ever flown in the Boeing airlifter. A U.S. Air Force C-17 Globemaster safely evacuated some 640 Afghans from Kabul. The image shows, as you see on your screens, there are hundreds of people jam-packed inside one plane. Thousands of Afghans rushed to the Kabul airport trying to flee the country. We got you those very disturbing images of how many of them were clutching on to the wheels or any part of the Globemaster so that they could get out of Afghanistan. The C-17 wasn't intending to take such a large load, but panicked Afghans who had been cleared to evacuate pulled themselves onto the C-17's half-open ramp Instead of trying to force those refugees off the aircraft, the crew made the decision to just take off to go. And that's led to over 600 Afghans being taken out of Kabul in Qatar now. Geeta Mohan, our foreign affairs editor, is joining us with more details on this. Geeta, that picture perhaps describes what we really saw yesterday of hundreds of Afghans there on the tarmac, on the runway, trying hard to get on board that Globemaster. 640 Afghans, we're being told, have been flown from Kabul to Qatar now. Well, um, Akshita, the photograph is uh, certainly, the image certainly is telling of the human tragedy that is the fallen Afghans. Those Afghans who do not want to stay under a Taliban administration. Uh, those Afghans who have fled and who also are planning on flee. It is a human tragedy that is unfolding in, uh, in Afghanistan. The U.S. president also, while he continued blaming everyone but the administration on what really has happened and the disaster that is Afghanistan today, uh, 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 did mention that there was a, a mistake in the in, in assessing uh, the situation and how soon uh, Kabul really fell. So uh, the, the, the the things on the ground are not going to get better. Uh, they are going to be one where all countries now have to recognize the fact that there is going to be a Taliban administration in Afghanistan. Hmm. How it will look, how it might really uh, uh, mold itself is something we have to wait and see. But the visuals that we saw, yes. the images, videos that came from Kabul airport actually are not just heartbreaking. It is one that will haunt the administrations that have been responsible for this. Apologies, we've lost a connection with Geeta, but uh, those images and the one you see on your screens, the clips that played out yesterday will haunt us for a long, long time and sums up how the locals are so scared and struggling to ensure they get out of Afghanistan no matter what as the Taliban has taken over.